The Nine world has come together for the first time in history due to the sudden death of Akira Toriyama. A Japanese manga artist and designer who created the most notorious and well-known series of the anime-verse, Dragon Ball Z. So we have put up a list of creations that were created by our beloved hero, but didn't get the hype that they deserved. 10. The Art of Tobal No One Most of you might not know about it, but Akira Toriyama was the mastermind and the main brain behind many video game character designs. He was also the main designer behind the Art of Tobal No. 1. Made in 1996, many people never really get to know that Toriyama created the whole roster for this action-packed game. The controls are, however, not very welcoming, but the whole cast by Toriyama is just amazing. It's so good to see the feats and creativity of Toriyama's intellect from these characters. Unfortunately, the franchise wasn't able to contribute much to the popularity of the game and it wasn't exported to other media sources. This is somewhat good in the sense that we can see the likes of Han, Mary Ivan Sky, and I.L. Goga to go berserker in the anime universe. 9. Go, Go, Ackman One of the hidden gems of Akira Toriyama is the Go, Go, Ackman manga. This series was written and illustrated by Akira himself and was published irregularly in five jumps for 11 chapters from July 1993 to October 1994. The humorous series is based on a demon child named Ackman. Ackman, a small demon child, awakens from a 50-year slumber. His parents explain that since he is now 200 years old, it is time for him to begin murdering people and selling their souls to the great demon king. Ackman spends most of his time aimlessly searching for kind-hearted young women to murder because he believes their innocent souls are more valuable. However, he is ashamed when he discovers that these women are immodest. The enemy of Ackman, the angel Tenshikun, who resembles a cherub and believes he is dead, is horrified to learn that Ackman has resumed killing. Throughout the series, Tenshikun makes many utterly futile attempts to murder Ackman. Tenshikun hires a stripper after discovering Ackman's tendency for lewd behavior, and it works, until it's revealed the stripper has a male organ. Ackman has no sense of decency when it comes to talking with women or even watching them. Toriyama was quite prolific, especially with the shots he published during his trivial days. This surely is one of Toriyama's best initial manga series and gives you a good amount of chuckle if you can get your hands on one of these copies. 8. Kawa Next up on our list is the Kawa series. There's also a manga series designed and illustrated by Akira Toriyama. It was released from 1997 to 1998. The mischievous monster boy Paifu coexists peacefully with opponent Arpan and friend Jose. The peaceful village life is disturbed when a monster flu outbreak occurs, killing monsters in less than a month. The doctor says that a witch who lives at the top of Horned Owl Mountain can make the cure. With the assistance of Mariyama, a nearby human, Paifu Jose, and Arpan offer to travel because the adult monsters are ill. A celebration marks the group's return, but Mariyama departs, saying he doesn't like these kinds of things. With the chance to tell everyone what has happened, Paifu and his allies successfully mend an ancient ghost ship for Mariyama to see, granting his wish to acquire one with the money that was given. They went off on an adventurous journey to retrieve the medicine. The overall theme is mainly targeted to children and has a sugary look. This series is surely recommended for people who are not much into action and fighting scenes. Kawa shows a manga side where less action and fight scenes also feel entertaining. This shows how great Toriyama was when it came to drawing fictional characters with pure emotions. 7. Manga Theater An anthology of Japanese manga, Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater was published in three Tankobon volumes between 1983 and 1997. The renowned manga artist Akira Toriyama wrote and illustrated a number of one-shots that are collected in these volumes. Between 1978 and 1994, the stories were first published in a number of Shuisha magazines. Numerous standalone pieces, each with a distinct idea and cast of characters, are included in the anthology. The inventiveness of Toriyama is seen in these one-shots. Several European nations have released the manga theater series, including France and Italy. On December 7, 20,211, Viz Media obtained a license to publish the anthology in North America as a single hardcover volume. After entering a work into a weekly Shonen Jump magazine contest, Toriyama made his manga debut. His perseverance paid off as renowned works such as Dragon Boy and Dr. Slump were produced. Dragon Boy was indeed the first ever blueprint that led to the creation of the greatest anime of all time. In conclusion, Akira Toriyama's manga theater demonstrates his flexibility as a storyteller and artist while offering a pleasant look into Toriyama's early career. This anthology offers an intriguing look into the creative process of the man, whether you're a fan of his well-known pieces or interested in learning more about his obscure treasures. 6. Blue Dragon 
The Blue Dragon video game series is adapted into a Japanese anime television series called Blue Dragon that most of you know about. Hibi Tokyo aired the series, which was produced by Studio Piera, but Ekira Toriyama made a great contribution in the original game. Toriyama aided this nostalgia cult game and he was in charge of making the game's character designs and artwork. His distinctive style, which is marked by dynamic poses, expressive faces, and original designs, gave Blue Dragon a distinct and striking appearance. Toriyama was also responsible for creating the shadows that the players cast during their fights. Gamers were quick to identify the impact of Toriyama's renowned works, particularly for his well-known manga series Dragon Ball. This game might not be the best that Toriyama had to offer, but it surely has made its mark. Its main attraction was after the anime adaptation and the world got to know more about the legendary artist. 5. Dr. Slump Akira Toriyama is also the author and illustrator of the Japanese manga series Dr. Slump. From February 1980 to September 1984, it was serialized. The show chronicles the amusing exploits of Senbei Noramaki, a girl robot aroused creator, and the other citizens of the strange penguin village. This series will surely give you a chuckle once you get used to watching it. Senbei Noramaki is an inventor who constructs Aral Noramaki, a small girl robot in the first chapter, with the intention of making her the most ideal robot in the world. She finds out, though, to be in desperate need of glasses. She is also quite innocent, and in later issues, she has misadventures like taking a large bear home that she thought was a pet. The story mainly revolves around the robotic girl who has superhuman strength, but no sense of humanity. Puns, toilet humor, and parodies of American and Japanese culture prevail throughout Dr. Slump. For instance, one of the recurring characters is Suppaman, a short, obese, conceited clown who, by consuming a sour Uboshi, transforms into an alter ego akin to Superman. Suppaman, who is unable to fly like Superman, pretends to be able to fly by rolling about the city on a skateboard while lying down. The series shows that instead of being an action-packed manga artist, there is a cute little side of Toriyama as well that clearly shows how good of a humorous guy he really is. 4. Sand Land One of the most well-known pieces of Akira Toriyama is the Sand Land. It was designed and illustrated by the legend himself and was serialized from May to August of 2000, and in November of that same year, it was compiled as a single Tankobon volume. The river that supplied the nation with water long ago dried up, leaving the planet without its primary source of water after years of natural disasters and conflict. The people of Sandland start looting one another for money and water when the avaricious monarch of the land's own water supply gets more and more expensive for them to purchase. Sheriff Rio is joined by Beelzebub, the demon prince and thief, his companion. It's so fascinating to see that many of Toriyama's initial projects are now getting recognition after decades of release. However, the project Sandland was saved after its adaptation into anime and video games. In the video game, the story is pretty much the same and the demon prince fights alongside the humans. There are many amazing features, but there's a heck of tank battles. 3. The Art of Chrono Trigger Being a member of the JRPG Dream Team that also featured Yuji Horii, the developer of Dragon Quest, and Hironobu Sakaguchi, the inventor of Final Fantasy, Toriyama cemented his reputation in the history of video games in 1995 with his work on Chrono Trigger for the SNES. The Art of Chrono Trigger was a famous game back in the day. It was a famous RPG game due to its iconic design, revolutionary gameplay, and engaging visuals. Toriyama left no spot to be covered in this game. Video games have been forever changed by the renowned artwork of Akira Toriyama, and Chrono Trigger is no different. Toriyama created a variety of intriguing character designs for Chrono Trigger. The feats of Toriyama's design can be seen in its characters such as Luka Chrono and much more. 2. The Art of Dragon Quest Akira Toriyama, the well-known manga artist and character designer from Japan, has created a lasting impression on the Dragon Quest universe. His creative input has greatly influenced this cherished video game series visual aesthetic. Hate or like it, but everyone admires it. Whether you are just a new fan of the recent incarnations or have just heard about the game, you know that this game has a majestic effect on the world and Toriyama himself. The legend not only designed the characters but also introduced a significant number of enemies such as slimes that have become a common thing among the Anon genre games. The game worlds were given life by his unique artwork, which made them aesthetically pleasing and unforgettable. 1. Dragon Ball If you have never heard of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super, you are probably still in the womb. This is considered to be the GOAT of the anime verse when it comes to story, fight, or plot twists. This series is the main recognition of Toriyama's success. The Dragon Ball series started a universal phenomenon in the late 19s and early 20s. Every kid in high school wanted to turn into a Super Saiyan back in the day. 
The story of a monkey boy who was left alone and brought up by an old man turned into one of the best anime to ever exist in the whole universe. Goku, our main character, has been a sensation for the kids and the old folks alike. This series led to the creation of Dragon Ball Super, where the concept of internet break was introduced. It was that time when all the websites went down when the last episode of the Super series was released. Even the most notorious adult site also crashed because the episode was being live-streamed when Goku turned into Ultra Instinct form. Admit it or not, Toriyama is the best artist to ever exist in the anime and manga niche. Thanks to him, we got a heckload of Super Saiyan and even Piccolo. Whether it be manga, anime, live adaptation, or video games, Dragon Ball has made its mark and so does Toriyama. We wish that the Dragon Ball series still continued after the death of the Great One as well.